Welcome to Science with Father, a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing science with you in a fun and interactive way. Enjoy! <laughs> Did you know wherever there is an unbalanced force, there will be acceleration? That's Newton's second law. <laughs> what is a force? Forces acting on an object may be thought of as either a push or a pull. Newton's second law is F equals MA. And really what it is saying is that if all the forces acting on an object are added up, and if they do not cancel each other out, there will be an overall net force exerted on the object of mass M. Moreover, this overall net force will make the object accelerate or decelerate in the same direction as the overall force. For example, the overall force and the resulting acceleration are definitely in the same direction. What is really cool about Newton's second law is that if you do not see an object accelerating, then no matter how complicated or how many forces are present, all the forces are balanced, or the overall or net force in Newton's equation is zero. Only when an object accelerates will the force F in Newton's second law be non-zero. Here are two objects of exactly the same mass. Dr. Smith is going to attach each mass to opposite strings hung over a pulley. When Dr. Smith lets go of the masses, what do you predict will happen? This time, Dr. Smith is holding the identical masses hung over a pulley at different heights. When he lets go of the masses, what do you predict will happen? Dr. Smith is now adding a second smaller mass to the right side. Now, when Dr. Smith lets go of the masses, what do you predict will happen? Dr. Smith has an empty soda can and a full soda can. He is putting them both at the top of a ramp and is going to let go of them at the same time. What do you predict will happen? Did you get it right? This time Dr. Smith has three solid steel balls. A small one, a medium sized one, and a large one placed at the top of the ramp. What do you predict will happen? We can see that acceleration is definitely present in these ramp experiments for all the objects rolled down the ramp. So that means with each object there is an unbalanced overall net force. Do you know what that force is? The force accelerating each object down the ramp is the object's weight. Weight is a force and that is why the heaviest soda can or the heaviest steel ball always won the race of rolling down the ramp. Newton's second law is F equals MA. Is the mass M in this law the same as weight?
Hmm, good question. Nope. Mass and weight are two different things. In fact, weight is a force. Your weight on Earth is a measure of the attractive force between you and the Earth's gravitational pull. So in the equation F equals MA, F is replaced with a W for weight, and A is replaced with G for Earth's gravitational acceleration. M is still the mass of the object. On Earth, G is 9.8 meters per second squared, or 386 inches per second squared. Astronauts in outer space are weightless because they are so far away from the Earth that G becomes zero, so their weight, W, is zero. There are many different types of scales that we can use to measure weight. Dr. Smith is holding a spring scale. It reads that the weight is 10 pounds. What do you think the scale will read when he lets go of the scale holding the weight? All falling objects are weightless. It does not matter what the object is. If it is falling, it will always have no weight. All objects falling to the ground are weightless, so all objects fall to the ground with the same acceleration. Air resistance makes this difficult to observe, but if we find two objects with the same air resistance, we can easily observe them falling at the same rate. An empty and a full soda can have the same shape, and if we do not let them rotate much while falling, their air resistance is the same. Check out this slow motion video of an empty and a full soda can being dropped at the same time. Here's a 10 pound and a 5 pound weight dropped at the same time. You can take advantage of the fact that all objects fall at the same rate to calculate your reaction time. Place your fingers one inch apart and have someone hold a ruler between your fingers. Catch the ruler with your fingers as soon as you see the ruler falling. Then look at the ruler and measure how far the ruler fell in inches. You can then use the below equation to calculate your reaction time in seconds. T equals the square root of 2d over g, where g equals 386 inches per second squared, and d equals the distance the ruler fell in inches. For example, Dr. Smith's ruler fell 2.5 inches, so his reaction time is 0.1 seconds. Did you know that a horizontally moving object falls at the same rate as a dropped object as long as air resistance is the same for both objects? This is a projectile motion device. When Dr. Smith pushes this lever, one ball will shoot straight out, the other one will be dropped. For example, this ball will be shot straight out, and this is the one that's going to be dropped. Dr. Smith is going to place the device high on top of a ladder. When he releases the lever on the device, one steel ball will shoot straight out and the other will be dropped. Which steel ball do you think will strike the ground first? Let's review. Forces end up being either a push or a pull on an object. If all the forces acting on an object do not cancel out, the object will accelerate in the direction of the overall unbalanced force. Horizontally moving objects fall at the same rate as dropped objects when air resistance is the same. 